And as Laura mentioned, it is Super Bowl weekend, and tonight the CDC is urging Americans to keep it from becoming a super spreader event. Here's Andrew Horansky with ways to play it safe. It is a weekend of firsts. First time a home team is hosting the Super Bowl. First time a woman is officiating the game. And the first time we're watching in a global pandemic. Let's take precautions to limit the spread of COVID-19. I encourage everyone to celebrate in small groups. Tonight, the mayors of the battling cities are teaming up in a PSA, while the CDC says it's best to stay home. And Dr. Fauci has a warning. As much fun as it is to get together in a big Super Bowl party, now is not the time to do that. Mitch Lieberth of Lakewood knows all about big parties. My parties are normally about 30 to 40 people. Not this year. I'm putting together goodie bags for folks who normally come to my party, and I'll be delivering the goodie bags um, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Full of candy, soup mix, and things related to pirates and treasure. As even small gatherings may not be the safest play, those COVID variants believed to be more infectious, threatening to encroach on celebrations everywhere. It's a perfect storm to have uh, cases spread. Gotten lucky having a party like this in the fall are going to find that their luck is running out. Fumbling when it could have been avoided. The game kicks off at 630 and last call for bars and restaurants is 11 in Ohio. So patrons should be able to see the whole thing in public if they so choose. The hope is they also choose to follow the rules, wearing masks and practicing safe social distancing. In Cleveland, I'm Andrew Horansky, 3 News.